So if you're in quarantine or lockdown and you're looking for the best chocolate chip cookie recipe to make so your time isn't wasted, but let's be honest, you have so much time, look no further. So basically I looked on YouTube because of course, where else would I look? And looked up the best chocolate chip cookie recipe. And of course there's so many different options, so many different people with their recipes. But basically, I took the top five recipes that came up when I searched on an incognito browser and just stuck with those. So the top five for me that came up were Tasty Recipe, Oh Yum Recipe by Anna Olson, Bon Appetit Recipe by Chris Morocco, a Natasha Kitchen Recipe, and Joshua Wiseman Recipe. Those are the five recipes that I'm going to be comparing today. So before I start baking, I got to gather the ingredients. Let rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. So again, these are the five recipes that I'll be comparing today. And now that we have all our ingredients, let's get to bacon. Okay, so here are all the doughs prepped and ready. I'm gonna scoop them all with the same size cookie scoop, roll them all, and then bake them all on a sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the song. And if you've been on TikTok, I'm so sorry. And if you haven't, good job. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the motherfucker in the house bored and I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house bored. I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house bored and I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house bored. So I gotta say, looking at these cookies, they look amazing and they tasted amazing as well the one different thing about these compared to the other ones is that there is espresso in these ones and i could definitely taste it um if you're a coffee person i think you'd definitely love this kind of cookie but overall super delicious so these ones reminded me of like that classic homemade cookie that your parents might have made you when you're younger. You know, I never actually made homemade cookies and I always thought homemade cookies were like break and bake from Kroger or something. Um, <laughs> but that's another story for another time. Anyway, so these ones you can definitely tell are a bit lighter than the last ones we looked at, mainly because the there's more granulated sugar in these. Didn't uh, spread out as much, but still chewy center, tasted great. So just looking at the appearance of these, definitely darker than the Anna Olsen cookies, more similar to the tasty recipe cookies. Um, again, I think the sugar content here is more similar to the tasty recipe in that it has more brown sugar than it does granulated. These definitely spread out a bit more, came out a bit more flat. Um, but look at that chocolate on top. So good. Um, and just look, look at that. I just want to eat it. It was so delicious. 
Okay, so I don't know where I went wrong with these, but Natasha, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Clearly I did something wrong. They didn't spread out. They look small and definitely not correct. So when you look inside, it's definitely looking cakey. Didn't spread out at all. Um, so please don't use this as an indicator of what this recipe is. I'm sure it's much better than this. I just messed it up. So I was super proud of these cookies. They came out looking delicious. Definitely more similar to the Tasty and Bon Appetit cookies. More brown sugar. Um, so he had a technique about uh, like the flat ripple effect on the cookie. Basically you bang the sheet in the oven to give it that effect. I think it sort of came out, um, but I think it's cool. When I break them into them, look at that chocolate shine. I really love these. After comparing all of them and eating all of them, of course, I gotta say the best chocolate chip recipe goes to. Okay, I know I chose two and perhaps that's cheating, but honestly the two flavor profiles of these cookies were my favorite of the five. I think I just personally love a more dark brown sugar vibe in my cookie. Um, but honestly, it's a freaking cookie, guys. Any one of these recipes, I think you'd enjoy it and you'd love it. So just pick one, bake it, and enjoy it. Because, you know, we need something to enjoy in these times of the world. Uh, anyway, so please leave in the comments below if you have any other cookie recipes you think I should try out or that I would enjoy. And yeah, keep baking. See you later.